Hello and welcome to The Print. This is Akanksha Mishra and today you're watching Scientifics where I will be taking you through this week's top science news from across the world. Remember the UK Biobank study from last week's Scientifics? where we discussed how over 100,000 volunteers had body scans done over the last 10 years? Well, our first story today is based on data from that very biobank. A new study from the University of Nottingham has found that just living through the COVID-19 pandemic may have slowly aged people's brains, even if they never got infected with the virus themselves. Using brain scans from nearly 1,000 healthy adults from before and after the pandemic, Researchers found signs of faster brain aging, especially in older adults, men, and those from disadvantaged backgrounds. Out of these samples, those who were infected with COVID-19 also showed some declines in thinking speed and flexibility. But overall, the pandemic stress alone did shift brain structure in all individuals. The good news is that researchers say these changes could be reversible. As lead scientist Dr. Ali Reza put it, the most surprising part was how much simply living through the uncertainty and isolation of the pandemic affected brain health. It's a powerful reminder that our environment matters for our brain's growth. Next up, we might have evidence that spiders started out as sea creatures. At least, that is what a new study suggests after researchers closely examined a preserved fossil from half a billion years ago. The fossil, called Mollisonia symmetrica, has a nervous system very similar to that of modern-day arachnids like spiders and scorpions. Until now, scientists thought that these creatures only evolved once their ancestors moved onto land 400 million years ago. But this new evidence flips that theory on its head, quite literally. The brain of the fossil Mollisonia shows a reversed organization, which is a signature trait seen in today's arachnids. This arrangement may have given them faster reflexes, better control and precision, which are all traits modern-day spiders use to hunt and weave webs. The fossil places Mollisonia as a close relative of modern arachnids, meaning that these creepy crawlies might have started evolving in the ocean long before they crept onto the land. It's a new insight into understanding where spiders truly come from. Next up, a 100-year-old lung sample from Switzerland helped scientists decode the deadliest flu in history. A new study by researchers from the universities of Basel and Zurich sequenced the genome of the 1918 Spanish flu virus by using preserved tissue from a young patient who had died during the pandemic's first wave. The Spanish flu that spread across Europe and Asia killed between 20 to 100 million people from 1918 to 1920. By decoding the genome, scientists now have insights into how this flu had already adapted to humans early on. They found three key mutations in the virus's genome, two which helped the virus evade the human immune system and one which boosted its ability to infect human cells. What makes the study stand out is not just what they found, but how they found it. In viral flu, the genetic information rests in the RNA, not the DNA. The RNA is very quick to degrade, but these scientists somehow found a method to recover ancient viral RNA from 100 years ago. This technique opens the door to learning more from historic outbreaks. As the team put it in their study, understanding how viruses evolve across pandemics could shape how we respond to the next one. Finally, Imagine a group of scientists who have geared up for winter arctic fieldwork wearing layers of thermal clothing only to find themselves drenched in rain, standing on bare grass and working without even needing gloves in what is supposed to be the middle of winter. That's exactly what happened to Dr. James Bradley and his team at Svalbard in the Arctic in February 2025. In a new Nature Communications commentary, they reported shockingly warm conditions melting snow, blooming vegetation, and rain replacing snow in the Arctic Circle. Svalbard is heating up six to seven times faster than the global average, and the Arctic winter is no longer frozen. These conditions not only disrupted their research, but also raised safety concerns, like how to retreat from polar bears without their snowmobiles working. 
the team warns that winter warming in the arctic is not a fluke but rather the new norm the message is clear climate policy needs to catch up and fast that's all we have for you today thank you for tuning into the print